Hello and welcome to Total Television. I'm Brian Dolby reporting from the Broadband World Forum where I'm talking to Rob Butler who is the founder and executive director of Emotum. Rob, you've just given a, a fascinating talk really warning service providers that it's now or never in terms of getting their customer service sorted. Tell us a bit about what you were, t what you were saying to the audience here. Well, basically, Brian, the, the, the issue today is that with uh, prepaid cards, with the, the ease with which you can switch operators, um, it's so easy now for a customer to actually move from one brand to another. So it's very, very important now that the brand image is actually upheld. And uh, talking about, you know, the social events, uh, you know, in the media and all sorts of places now with Twitters and blogs where people can actually say, well, look, we don't like this uh, company. You shouldn't be with that company. They provide poor service. But it is interesting that people want quality. They've always wanted quality. And even though they're not prepared to pay a lot of money for quality, they want it. Um, what happens then is, of course, that you have a situation where if you don't provide the good service that's high quality, then you're going to lose customers and your brand image is basically down the toilet. And considering we're a communications industry, we don't exactly have a glorious track record in customer service, do we? No, actually, that's, uh, that's quite true. Basically, what you have is a situation where, in the past, uh, we supported very well um, the, the early days of dial-up. Uh, then we found that the cost of support actually started to grow. So what they thought they'd do was they would outsource that uh, support, and then they found that that was costing too much, so they shipped it to another country, where they found that their brand image you know, really sunk low. Uh, so they then bought it back back to their own country, then they, then they bought it in-house. Um, it's been all over the place and no one really has taken enough care. The call centres are, are actually regarded as the poor cousins of an organisation and where they actually are really the only place where you confront the customers on a regular basis, on a day-to-day -day basis. But I think uh, you did give a message that there was at least hope for the industry. Mm -hmm. Well, there is. There's a very big hope for the industry. I mean, the, the, the providers that actually get their act together, you know, put all the things in place, um, do some research, spend some money, collate data about you know, what their customers do and don't want, what usage they have, you know, what experiences they're having. The ones that do that, there's a massive opportunity because um, unlike you know, the old days, people are actually prepared to pay money to actually get good service because they want to be on all the time. And this message of being on all the time, is, is it's quite clear that when you're not on, it's very frustrating. So, you know, most people I've, I've uh, researched with actually are very, very much prepared to pay uh, to actually get very good quality support. And this is an area that Emotum is very much involved with. Well, actually, we've been involved since uh, 1996 in the areas of uh, customer support and right from the days of dial-up uh, through Australia, through Asia, through Europe and through America. And um, it, the, the thing is that the trends don't, don't really change. And one of the things I presented today was that there are lessons that should be learned and they're rarely learned in the areas of uh, customer service and support. Okay, well, uh, you certainly set a lot of people talking and, and thanks very much for speaking to Total Television. Well, thank you very much. Thank you.